Landing the carbon cub is a very straightforward process, just like any other tailwheel airplane, really. We have the three-point landing, we have the wheel landing. Three-point landings are nothing special. The only thing that might uh, take you a while to adapt to is simply the low speed at which it happens. This airplane is very light, has a very low stall speed, so your landing speeds are pretty low. Wheel landings, also very easy. Maybe carry four or five miles an hour more than a uh, three-point landing and roll it on the ground and fly down the runway with your tail up if you like. It's quite fun, actually. In all these landings, you'll find the flight controls are very responsive right down to the stall speed. The rudder's large and very powerful. It helps you keep the nose straight. It's a powerful airplane. People think it might be intimidating. It's really not. It's a very docile airplane and easy to fly. As tailwheel airplanes go, honestly, I'm not sure there's an easier one to fly. Let's take a look at some of this stuff from the cockpit. We're about midfield here. Let's get the power coming back. Some back pressure on the stick as you're bringing the throttle back to let the airspeed decay. As you come through 80 down to about 70, let's bring the first notch of flap in. Now we're going to turn base. We've got our speed down to around 65. Let's bring the second notch of flap in. Now we're about to turn final. Let's slow down to an approach speed of 45 to 50 and bring in uh, full flaps, three notches. Now we're on short final here. Airspeed stabilized at 45. We're going to round out just over the runway, pause for a second, and start increasing the back pressure to get a three-point landing. We're midfield, let's start pulling the power back. Increase back pressure as you're decreasing the uh, power. And then when we get down to about 70, bring one notch of flaps in and that'll bring the nose back up. Turn base, so about 65 miles an hour, second notch of flaps comes in. Got the airport made. Left again on final, about 50 miles an hour, and bring in uh, full flaps, three notches. For this wheel landing, let's fly 50 miles an hour all the way down final, round out just a couple feet over the runway, let the airplane sink just a little bit at level attitude, and your wheels will roll right on the ground. Feet on the rudders, let's hold the tail up and run it down the runway.